When last we left our heroes, the three of you look down and see Jack as a full-fledged were-rat. I was human once. A knight, actually, if you can believe it. I'm going to find them and reverse this curse put upon me. And we'll do the same for you. And then we'll get our revenge. We'll break an anchor tonight. Shipment's been moved up. I shall agree to keep the payment in exchange. I will take you all the way to Pondalus with us. How big is this ship? It's a pretty big galleon. Some sort of special something or other. Captain keeps the most important one hidden with him. If I start seeming like someone else, I need you to kill me. By the divine grace of the Nine, I swear it. You then feel her mace at your chest, but do not give me reason to do this. Shepard, if you wanted someone to kill you, I would have offered. And you finally hear the bells begin to chime on the ship. Anchor is about to be away. We are heading for the horizon. Sarah says, uh, we have some time. Perhaps we should go see ourselves off and see us leave Port Whitley behind. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So, so we're going up, uh, up top just to watch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I, I look around and just kind of start, um, can I count how many crew I see kind of milling about? Yeah, uh, the crew's still mostly busy okay. uh, working about, but you think you have eyeballed roughly 20 to 25 crew members. And about how armed are they? Like, are, are they just, you know, not expecting a fight? They are not armed. At most, Perfect. you see a couple of them here and there that have um, uh, knives on their ankles. And you know that that's probably for, like... Having to cut something from an emergency standpoint. Uh, I walk to the very the very front of the ship, like as front as I can get, and I'm just kind of like taking in the like the open air and the sea and stuff, and just trying to see if if I have any memories of being at sea before this point. Because I mean, I wouldn't know. It is winter time. <laughs> I'm afraid I would be starting to get a little cold. You start heading towards the bow of the ship, Shepard. And uh, as you step up, you do see that there, uh, uh, the ship is being slowly uh, pulled away from the people on the dock as they've, you know, started pulling it from the rope and uh, releasing all of the um, uh, attachments. The ship is beginning turn turning towards the open sea, and you do see that the um, sun being on your uh, starboard side uh, is... Uh, Still up, but beginning to go down a little bit. Shepard, go ahead and roll me your, uh, let's just, mm, let's just say a straight d20 roll. Oh, shit. All right. That is a nat 20. As you're walking towards the uh, bow of the ship, you do see that there is a loose rope uh, from one of the uh, top sails. That is hanging down. It's not like it's a big deal, but you know that you could just quickly secure it to one of the uh, T-ties next to you. You grab it and you begin to figure eight, tie it to the uh, Mm T-tie. And as you do that, you all of a sudden get this flash. You freeze in place and you find yourself on another ship surrounded by frozen waters and snow falling all around you. You uh, you take a look about and you're on a completely different ship with a different crew. You recognize all of them. You look down and you're someone completely different. You're wearing armor You look at your hands, pale skin, albeit red from being so cold. 
You then look behind you as you hear an echoed voice on the starboard side of the ship pointing with his cutlass at someone on the port side standing on a plank. And it's a female. This will go a lot faster if you simply step off. And her voice seems to echo and it sounds so familiar. Please, please don't make me do this. I, I'm not a witch. I, 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 I don't even practice the craft. I simply live near their village. The man with the cutlass points to you. I've had enough of this. As he looks at you, gives a nod over to the girl and says, Go on. Do your duty. And what do you do, Shepard? I, uh... I, uh... point my sword at her and I say really quietly, I'm sorry. And I poke it into her back. She has tears in her eyes. Please don't. Please. You know I'm not. You poke your sword. And as she falls, she screams. And her echo rings so loud in her ears. And she calls out a name. But as she calls out the name, it rings like a piercing fire in your ears. But you know it was your name. You snap back and you finish tying the last tie, standing on the bow of the ship. Shepard, are you okay? You've turned a little ill. I say at this point, like my hands are like shaking like hard. And I've got like a tear going down my cheek. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take a quick swig of my uh, drinking horn and be like yes fine oh why would you even ask Sarah calls over to y'all uh, to the two of you come see the port side there's jellyfish shall we join her I run over there yeah let's let's go there the four of you all stand on the port side of the ship looking down seeing various fish and jellyfish that have gathered around the ship as it begins to leave uh, first time you've seen uh, wildlife such as this. Um, but the ship begins to make its way out. The sails are lowered and the wind catches them. And you begin to sail outward towards the horizon. Uh, the first night is a pretty uneventful, uh, well, at least the first day of sailing is fairly uneventful. You um, you observe the crew just doing miscellaneous work around the ship. Uh, the captain, uh, because it's a pretty easy voyage, is going to stay in his quarters, and the first mate's pretty much running the deck at this point. Uh, the crew are taking shifts. Uh, the night crew has already descended down to their... Uh, quarters and are going to rest while the day crew is going to stay out and maintain the deck as it were uh you whatever it is the lot of you decide to do it's pretty much just a combination of watching the uh the ocean waves feeling the sea breeze just looking out uh very nice very relaxing and uh the sun is about to go down what would all of you like to do? I assume there's a plan in place for me to be monitored as we uh, wait for the sunset. So I'm just going to be in bed, I guess, just yeah. waiting. I think w I, I would like for us to monitor you, but also to see the nature of your reaction should... Should you are manipulated by another force or if you are of conscious mind and you can control yourself? Yeah, I mean, that's that's really the question right now. OK, uh, so y'all would like to simply just wait, and prepare for him to 
Shapeshift. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, you all retire to your quarter and shut the door. And uh, Sarah kind of clears out a corner for you, shoving the cots out of the way and moving everything um, so that you have a corner literally to set yourself down in. She tells Shepard, uh, bar the door and stay by it. I not I, I keep my back against the door, just in case. And she stands in front of Jack. She's not drawing her weapon, but her hand is on her mace, and her other is on uh, the other was actually holding her holy symbol in her hand, and she just waits. Eventually, check. Mm hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a constitution saving throw. Oh, these are fun because my constitution is not great. Oh, four. Uh oh. Fantastic. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> and this. Was where Jack was killed. Somehow I <laughs> doubt it was fantastic. I'm just gonna say that. Jack, you immediately start feeling intense, intense pain in your body, much akin to what you felt the other night. Oh yeah. Okay. You um, you see him uh, while he was sitting on the ground, knees to his chest, and his hands uh, and arms draped around his his knees. He begins to fall to his side, and he's trying his hardest to not scream out. Sarah runs up and places a rag in his teeth so he can bite down. And he writhes on the ground, rolling and arching his back. You can see he's trying so hard not to let out any noise. You then see that the rag in his mouth, his teeth begin to warp and shape. And his two front teeth begin to elongate. And his chin and nose begin to extend outward. His skin turns gray and hair begins to grow on it. His fingers begin to crack and mold and shape and claws begin to come out. And the same transformation takes place. American Werewolf in Pondulous. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Mary- uh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> American Were Rat on a ship. Yes. <laughs> American Werewolf takes a cruise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Were Rat takes Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but eventually, uh, after some time, the transformation is complete. And Jack you remain conscious this time but roll me a wisdom saving throw come on 11 okay at first you hear a series of voices in your head it's all a mixed jumble of whispers it seems to echo but get louder at the same time as if it's right behind you right next to you but You close your eyes and you try so hard to get them to be quiet that they eventually subside. And you now have your full faculties about you in rat form. Uh, Do do I look cool? (laughs) (laughs) No. Does this look metal? (laughs) Is this this pretty rad, guys? No, it just... uh, 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 am I, am am I am I turned? Do what I, I feel? Sarah, do I feel different. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like in what way? In what yeah, way? Yeah, it'd be painful. Your fucking teeth were no, just. No, no. But I mean, I mean, in what way do I like, feel different? You, you definitely feel longer. Like you are definitely taller. Oh, cool. Um, you also do feel as if like your fingers are a little bit more dexterous. Does yeah, he have so, the same Jack voice, the kid voice, or would his voice have changed? Don't would make his me vo- do a rat voice. A no, rat no, voice. no, no, no. Uh, his voice is changed, if at all. Like just every so often, his um, his sentence, his sentences end with a tiny squeak. 
<laughs> I love it. You can add the add the squeak maybe, in post. Maybe speak with like something raw, like like because now you're you've got like teeth that's just kind of mm. like. Well, I, I'm trying to figure out my body right now. Right, like I, I'm looking at my hands and my fingers, and I'm yeah. just like, mm, 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 just yeah, like yeah. You're like, around. yeah, you're doing the, yeah, getting used to like the t- new teeth in your mouth and feeling your 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 limbs be elongated now. So you're you're looking down at your 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 claws and. How oh, you're so am I still dressed in my royal clothes? Whatever I was wearing before. Yeah, I thought you were in your street rat clothes. Well see, <laughs> I thought I had to be in my royal oh, clothes. Oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you are in your royal your royal garb. Yeah. If only yeah. they'd look closer, would they see a poor boy? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> um so uh Sarah looking wide eyed at you says are you okay? I feel different, but okay, I guess. Kind of sore. Does he like smell worse as a rat? I just imagine he stinks. <laughs> yeah, am I like wet rat smell? Like he just smells. Did his rat tail like pierce through his like garment? Oh, no, no, and I have a hole in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's poking out over the top. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's like poking out over the top of his breeches. Okay. Breeches. How much taller is he now? Is he at, at our level since he was like kind of a, a, a kid? Is he our height now? Well, my lankier butt, my legs are kind of arched differently, mm-hmm. so I'm still yeah. like crouched. Yeah, your legs are definitely still are, and like you definitely have like the elongated foot where you are like now more on the ball of your feet rather than the heel. So I wasn't wearing shoes, I, maybe, or was I wearing? Oh, they shoes? they 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 fell off. Okay, as like your feet started to grow. Yeah. Okay, Jack. Do you hear any voices, or is it just you? Are you of sound mind? I think so. I I did hear something when I was first changing, but I couldn't make it out. I, I don't know what it was, but I feel, like I said, normal. I I don't feel like I'm under any other anything else's control. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. That's 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 good. I knew um, you'd be fine. Well. You certainly can't leave the cabin now. Um, you'll have to stay here. I suppose we should all just try to get some rest. Yeah, we can do that as long as he's okay. Would I be able to sleep or am I like wide awake now? I mean, we'll see how it goes here in a minute if you try. Oh. I think because of... Uh my curiosity and and I love writing these things down. I would like to uh, do do some scientific testings with mm. with Jack. I want to I want to yeah that? I want to okay. I want to test out your strength and your vision oh, and geez. your speed. Uh, so I'm getting okay. my, my rat test check you. up. Okay, um, Avador. Uh, You're gonna oh. be a lab rat. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> Literally. Uh, with. Uh, with uh, uh, her journal in hand, Abadora asks you to perform a series of uh, different tasks, um, most of which dealing with, like, what's your dexterity and how how quick are you now? Do you feel more nimble? Does the tail add some sort of extra bit of balance to your, uh, to your uh, acrobatic repertoire? As silly as it sounded at first, like, I could actually see her character doing that and, like, jotting things down in her little journal. Like, uh-huh. uh-huh oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. she's asking you to, uh, like, balance onto um, one of the cots uh, on one foot. Yeah. Or, like, try to pick something out. Mm-hmm. Is my tail prehensile? I don't know what, how mm-hmm. rat... No. no it's no, not. It's just... No. no. That's monkey tail. Can he speak? Like, does he develop language mm-hmm. for other rats? No, 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 nothing uh, like he, that. Uh, he, um, yeah. he, he just simply is in a hybrid form of where. Would the other rats on the ship see him and think of him a god? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> They'd probably be very frightened. The <laughs> uh, so Lord is a Lord. <laughs> the Lord. Okay, of rats. so I mean, I'm going through with, I'm going <laughs> through with all these tests and whatever. I'm just kind of humoring uh, because I. Oh, go ahead. What. Uh, oh, you retain your uh, speed of 30. 
Okay. So you're still just as fast. I, uh, my, my dex was a 17, so it's already above that 15. Okay. So, so you're, his you're good vision there. is the same as mine, which is 60 feet at this yes. level, which means we can do this in the dark. Everyone can still be asleep, and we won't be disturbing, disturbing anyone. anyone. Yeah, yeah you, would, you would definitely know that like he has developed dark vision for sure. Cool, um, cool, cool. Uh, the other thing that I would say within your experimentations, you wanted to test this from the moment that he did turn. Um, he actually can still be hurt by normal weapons. Mm, I don't have the silver only thing. You do not have silver uh, um, as your uh, Im- damage immunities. Do I have any kind of like a s- regenerative bonus or is... Just the only other thing that you do realize that you've developed is a keen smell. Mm. Oh, then you <laughs> have right next to the restroom is great. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. No, you uh, you do now know that, privy. Uh, that <laughs> one of your traits now is um, you can indeed roll advantage on your perception checks in regards to smell. Cool. Oh, neat. And last but not least. Um, in your uh, thoughts and uh, at, uh, Abador with you helping him uh, learn more about his shape, go ahead. Actually, let me see if you could help coach him through this. Okay. okay. Roll a just a wisdom check. Roll an edge or wisdom modifier. Ten. Okay. Um, I'll give it to you. Um. Avador, due to you being a druid who is very adept at uh, animal uh, relations and whatnot, um, Jack, you have actually tested this now uh, with your shape changer. Mm -hmm. You believe that you can go between your rat-human hybrid or into a giant rat. No, so I can actually fully turn. You You can fully turn. Super. Yeah, you can fully turn into a giant rat. Cool. Interesting. How giant? Like actual giant? Like my size rat? Just probably, kind of down on all fours? Yeah, probably about the size of like a small dog, like a beagle. Oh, okay. Okay. Still a big rat. Yeah, it's still big. Cool. Is he able to climb with his nails? Like, can he? Mm-mm. No. No. Just, no. No. No advantage fat. on that. Just um. Yeah, he just maintains like the keen sense of smell. Can he use his tail kind of like a possum? Like no, wrap that's around. what prehensile. Yeah, is. it's that's not. It's asking. not prehensile. It can't be used for anything like that. But, um, yeah, you can either be the were rat hybrid, or you could go into full giant rat. I guess I'll stay were rat for now until I need to. Yeah, but uh, whatever purpose that might serve. So okay, cool. Uh, I would like to use this. Uh, Inside of knowing that his keen sense of smell has high end to possibly sneak. Is his stealth still the same as it, yeah, as it was? Stealth is the same. Um, maybe to go to the cockpit and uh, smell around if he can smell the whatever it is that the captain is hiding. Well, I thought that the idea was to keep me inside. No, no, or- no. But it's dark. Everyone's asleep. <laughs> oh, okay. So you just okay. If you if you want to, I'm not going well, to force you. Well, let me you. let me share with everybody. Like, oh, so by the way, when I was down going to the uh, uh, what is it called the restroom again? The privy. 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 When I was going to the privy, or when I told you I went to the privy, I actually had gone down to the storage unit, the cargo bay, just to try and see what we were bringing aboard for the the pondulous guy, and I, what I heard was that the most valuable items that they're carrying are in the captain's quarters, which I now know where that is as well. That's where the captain was coming out of, right? No, that's oh. that was just one of the other crew quarters. Oh, I see. Well, I don't know where that is, but <laughs> I... I well, the captain quarters is where we had gone uh-huh. earlier that day to go oh, see really? him. Oh, yeah. that was on the boat already? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right on. <laughs> I thought we were on land still. No, no. Um, Okay, so yeah, that's in the captain's quarters. Uh, I don't know if we want to go there now out of curiosity or what, but just FYI. 
out of curiosity, eh? I am quite curious. And uh, seeing as we've developed some of your assets, I I do believe we can uh, we can take a gander if uh, you can smell anything in its quarters. I say we do it. All right, I guess, I guess I'm, <laughs> I'm going out there risking my, my rat self. Right. Oh, maybe better I be the giant rat in this case. Would that add to my stealth at all? Just because smaller stature? Well, you'll be smaller, so you'll be harder to spot. Yeah. All right, let me do that. Then I'll practice. Practice. Big rat form. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, with some concentration, it takes you a couple seconds, but you guys see him... Um, all of his clothing just simply falls to the floor as he shrinks inward oh, and a giant rat crawls out of the lordly clothing. <laughs> can, I, can I talk in this form or is it all squeaks now? Oh, it's all squeaks. Oh, great. But I can understand Oh, you. yeah, true. I'm animal handling wisdom. <laughs> uh, your animal handling will allow you to like uh, teach him tricks or uh, anything like that, but actual communication... No? You'll oh, have to you cast... Don't, don't have the, there's, a, there's a specific spell. Oh. oh. Okay. You don't remember when you fucking I remember well, bypassed I my turn. entire spider encounter yeah, with your fucking... To, yeah, I wonder if I have... A, that's one of my cantrics that I still kept. Ugh, I want to have you guys fight spiders. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Nope. Hi, spiders. <laughs> Hi, spiders. Hi, spider friends. <laughs> No, I don't have it in my cantrip. Okay, that's, that's so okay. that's okay. We just tell us what you see when you come when back. When I turn back into a naked yeah, little yeah. boy. Got it. Got naked it. Little that's boy. Weird to say. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna go stealth over there, see what I can find in the captain's quarters, or if I can even make it in there. I can't even open doors in this form. Yeah, who's uh, gonna open the door somebody, for it? Somebody help me. <laughs> I'll you gotta open follow the, the other door. rats. All right. Uh the door opens and go ahead, roll me your stealth check. 21. All right. You uh, scurry through the hallway uh, at one point, uh, stopping at the base of the ship's ladder and get on your little rat hind legs and sniff into the air. (laughs) And you start crawling up the ship's ladder on the side railing, just scurrying right up. No problem. Nice. Do I smell? Is that a perception? Uh, When you get to the top, you can roll your perception check. If you would like to smell something, you may roll uh, uh, with advantage. Just don't aim can your smell- nose my way when you smell. <laughs> yeah, can I smell towards like the captain's quarters? Or am I near enough to that where I would smell? You'd have to make your way over to the captain's quarters. Okay, let me make my way over there first. Stealth! Uh, 15. Uh, your scurrying, your little rat self... Uh, uh, on the ship's deck there is a night crew out here but they're really not paying attention to you you're being very very quiet and definitely out of sight um and actually uh when you're out here uh i'll go ahead and give you advantage on your stealth checks because it's dark they're not able to really see you that well so you can get advantage on your checks um but yeah you scurry over to that door that y'all walked in earlier uh, that day to uh, uh, meet the captain in his quarters, but you're by the door. Okay. Um, would I be able to open it in any way? Not unless you transformed. Okay. Is Okay. I'll, I'll transform back because I know no one can come over and help Use me. Use your that's senses. All Use your senses to find What am I going to do? Well, there, there's rats everywhere. Surely. Yeah. What, are we going to stack them and become a giant rat who can open doors? Rat no, ladder. no, no. I mean, yes. like, Ten rats wearing a trench coat. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure there's Buying a, a window. I'm pretty sure there's a corner where like other rats have. All right, in. all right. Well, let me ask then. Is there anything, any other way I could get in aside from just opening the door? Uh, as a small rat. Oh, okay. You smell a window. Great. <laughs> what does a window smell like? Oh, that's not good. Um, what is my perception? Six. Uh, nothing that you inherently see right now. Um. Yeah, you're kind of standing in the small little alcove of the captain's... Just a little tiny rat, like, looking up. Yep. Hands crossed, like, hmm. Yep. What, what if you, like... What if you, like, tap on the door or scratch at the door? It's always so he has to, like, open and you it, just go in. Is he in there? Can I smell to see if he's in there? Roll me your perception okay. for smell. You get advantage on this. 
Oh, well, that was a nat 20, so no oh, mind. Oh, well, then that's the best you can get. Yes. Uh, yes, he is in there. Okay. All right, let me try that. Let me scratch at the door, because it might work better than opening it. Or let me let me knock. I don't need to scratch. That'll be a little, <laughs> a little knock. Right knocking. What would make the most <laughs> what would make the most noise that would, might make him... Uh, or is there anything around me that I can just knock over that would make him want to come out? Um, roll me your perception. 18. You start to look around in the surrounding area, and someone left a mop and bucket... Uh, leaning against the ship's ladder that leads up to the um, uh, to the helm. Perfect. All right, let me go push that mop over. Knock that mop over, and it hits the door. And then I'm going to wait right by the side of the door for him to come peek out and then just scurry in when he opens it. Okay. Uh, you do eventually hear some footsteps approaching the door, and you hear a intricate set of locks... Um, unlocking and then the door cracks open just a little bit and uh the captain uh you see the captain pointing his head what is it you lot run on in stealth stealth yeah (laughs) stealth don't fail me now okay 20 you scurry right past his feet and dart to be under the desk um and you see him but hello Look, if you lot are trying to play tricks on me again, I'm taking your share. Oh, damn vagabond. He shuts the door and he locks his... Uh, mm. I was afraid he was going to do that. I was hoping he would leave. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me perception for the where something that looks like it would hold a valuable item. A box or Well, you parcel. can use your smell to start like... Uh, uh, he uh, he goes back to not his main desk where he was talking with that lord, but that side desk where all the uh, map scrawlings and all of that uh, were. And uh, he sits down there and he uh, sets his candle back down and he begins to uh, work at his desk. So his candle is the only thing lighting the room. Correct. I have my dark vision, but he then would have trouble seeing me if I were on a different desk or Correct. As long as I'm not making noise. Okay. All right. Um yeah, let me find what I can on or let me use my sense of smell to see if there's anything that smells weird in here. I don't know what you, even what I'm smelling for exactly. Mm, that's going to be a 16, but let me advantage. Uh okay, that's much better. Uh 25. Oh shit. Uh yes. Uh, something at his desk that he's currently sitting at right now smells very akin to the Pondolin Lord. Mm, mm. There it is. Okay, I didn't know I could smell people. Got it. It's well, it smells like that scent that yeah, the yeah, Pondolin yeah. Lord had, like that that perfume that he was wearing. Okay, now it's it's kind of making me feel like uh, a movie, like like Ratatouille or Mouse, <laughs> like, <laughs> like Ratatouille. Stuart Little. Well. <laughs> The great oh you've never seen the great mouse detective. I've never seen it. Oh my god. Uh, but right now I'm trying to be the great mouse detective without yeah. the previous knowledge. <laughs> but now I'm trying to be the great mouse detective. <laughs> <laughs> For I am the great mouse detective. For I am the great mouse detective. <laughs> the poor rat detective, that's me. <laughs> poor man's rat. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me Is it in a, is it in such a place where he would see me if I were to just try to go up and you're a, you're pretty sure that it's like mm, in the desk or mm. on his person. It's in that general area that he's sitting at. Okay, can I do a perception to see if I can, or maybe an insight to figure out a way that I could kind of work it off his desk or and or get him to leave? I don't know what you got. Okay, so you're not there. Stop helping. <laughs> okay, 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 fine, 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 fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the, if, if anyone's listening to this, I've allowed a little too much metagaming. Uh, yes, it's true. It's true. A little it's too true. much metagaming All happening right, right I'm now. Stop. I'm a fair, fair. You, okay. Stop. You motherfuckers. Uh, it's true. It's true. <laughs> All right. So I've got myself into this. Let me see what I can do. All right. Let me just try to take a direct approach. And uh, uh, actually, no, that's that's a bad idea. I was going to like push this candle over. Like, no, I could burn the whole ship down. I don't want that. Uh, let me let me go up there and just try to knock it off or not knock it off the desk because it might be important <sighs> let me go up and see if I can just approach the box or if that would be in his line of sight 
uh, or whatever it's in. Like I smell it, but let, let me try to pinpoint what is you like to if you want to try to get a little bit closer you can just yeah, to, yeah. you're gonna roll a stealth to get a little right. bit closer and then let me do that okay stealth to get closer that is a 14 you leap off the desk uh and onto the ground uh and just ever so slightly just your tiny little claws make clicking sounds and you see like he shifts for a moment to look back like mm. Mm. And goes right back to his work. I uh, uh, brush off my brow like, phew. <laughs> uh, my little right hands. Brush um, like phew. <laughs> phew. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just work my way over there, try to see okay. if I can you get, get a little bit. Package. Yeah, you get a little bit closer, and now you can roll your perception check. Oh, good. Um, 23. Yeah, there is definitely something in one of the drawers on the desk mm. that is holding uh, the item that smells like the pondolin. If I am under his desk, can I see a way that I might be able to make my way into one of the drawers? Or is it only through directly opening it that I would be able to get in there? Well, it's not exactly great wood. Um, you think you might be able to chew your way through it. Yeah, let me try that method. That's what I was thinking. From, I don't know, from under the drawer, from the side mm-hmm. of the drawer. Okay. All right. So with that being the case, what I'll have you do is first off will be your stealth roll. Then I'll have you roll um, a couple other D20s to try to gnaw your way through okay. the uh, the desk drawer. The stealth is going to be 24. Oof. And the gnaws are just straight. I need you to roll three D20s. Uh, 14 on the first one. Okay. Nine on the second one and 11 on the third one. Okay. Uh, You are making progress and uh, being very, very quiet about it. You actually managed to get into the bottom drawer. Do do I know what drawer it's in? You said the top drawer? Top drawer. Three drawers on each side. Oh, boy. Continue gnawing upward, I guess. Stealth. Stealth. Gnaw, gnaw, gnaw. (laughs) Gnaw, gnaw, gnaw. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, <laughs> tw- 25. Okay. Not time. Uh, 16, four, mm. and five. Gnaws aren't as great the second time. Yeah, you're having to work through it. Uh, you're going to have to make another stealth check. Okay. Uh, 17. Okay, three more. 19, 17, 15. Okay. Very good that time. You uh, work through the hole. You're now in the second one. Stealth. Do it again. Not a Nas. All right. Not Nas. Uh-huh. <laughs> 15 on the stealth. 15 on the stealth. Okay. Four. 14. And two. Stealth again. 15, 14, and two. Uh-huh. You make it through. Ooh. Oh, nice. Perfect. Okay, well, here we are up in this drawer. <laughs> you, are uh, now in the, you are now in the top drawer of the desk. <laughs> All right, perfect. So do I know what, where it is now, or do I need to do another stealth you smell? Will, or uh, perception you'll smell? do a perception. 10 on that one, but if I have advantage on s- smells. Okay, 18 on the second one. 18 on the second one, yes. You see, uh, uh, you, you smell through this drawer. You're moving aside papers, a couple of quills. You're moving aside ink. Um, uh, little ink vials, uh, just kind of rummaging and moving that all aside. And you do find that there is this beautiful, beautiful and soft silk pouch that is tied close and it smells just like the pondolin. Can I like work it open my little rat hands? Roll a dexterity check. 22. You, with your little tiny rat hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start, uh, uh, you start uh, working the uh, pouch open, uh, and inside you see it looks like a very finely crafted bejeweled key. Feel like I should steal this key. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked this hard to get here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this Definitely key. Definitely steal it. All right, you start to uh, take the key in 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 its hole. Yeah, I don't need the hole. Let me tie the the little baggie back up so he won't, will be none the wiser. Well, he might see all the holes in his drawer. Roll I don't stealth. Know, but okay, twenty five. 
Now roll your dexterity to try to uh, pull the key out and then close the bag. Ten on the decks. On the decks? Uh-huh. Okay. You manage to pull the key out and you uh, tie the uh, tie the bag back closed. Perfect. Now, to get out, that's going to be the tough part. Mm-hmm. Shawshank Redemption style. Do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> through the, the through floor, the privy. The floor is wood. <laughs> Jack crawled through forty-eight <laughs> inches of <laughs> gnawed <Raw> wood <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> you got to put up in miscellaneous put junk drawers <laughs> and came out the other side smelling clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So is the is are the walls of such a material that I could potentially chew through it in the same way that I did the drawers? Or is it like a hard? Oh no, it's it's like treated lumber and and mm. yeah. So no on that one. New, no. uh, you start to make your way out of the drawer as you make as you get to the back where your hole is with the key. You uh, you feel the drawer slightly pull open, <laughs> oh. but then you just see um, an ink file placed in and a quill placed in and closed. Oh. Okay. Woo. You then hear the sound of a key turning and locking the drawer closed. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I continue working my way out, but let me watch this guy because maybe he's leaving. He, uh, he, you hear footsteps and, uh, are you still in the desk or would you be at the bottom? Oh, uh, no, I'm under the desk right now. Under the desk? Yeah. Okay. Under the desk, you see his footsteps and the light of the candle go around the corner into a small, uh, hallway out of sight. Still, it's all still one room, but he's just out of sight now around a corner. Oh, oh there's another entry. All right, well, let me, I, I have no way out without him really right now, so let me follow him in. Stealth. Stealth. Chef. Chef. Uh, 19. God, I'm rolling like garbage. Uh, yes, you uh, follow him uh, with key in tow, <laughs> um, and you actually see him by his bed. He uh, sets his candle down and he begins to uh, take off his uh, garments and things like I that. I shield my little rat eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my. Um, yeah, he uh, he gets down into his uh, just just basically his breeches uh, and his uh, sh- uh, sailing shirt and uh, roll perception. Uh, 13. Oh, God. That's much less. Big yes. difference. <laughs> uh, no, uh, with a 13, you do see that around his. Uh, uh, you see the carpet matches the drapes. No. <laughs> Damn it! I, that's what I exactly what I didn't want to see. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. Um, on his on the chair next to his feather bed are his formal breeches and coat and things like that. And uh, next to the feather bed also is a little desk nightstand where he's set the um, candle and he puts his key ring on it. To unlock the locks to get out, would I need his key ring at all? Are they key locked from... Okay. Man, okay. <laughs> Man. Can I? Okay. No, you can't interject. Uh, but I have an idea. I know, but I can't. <laughs> but I, I have an idea. I, you got to keep it to yourself because I got to get out of here myself. All right. <laughs> no, but that's like, seriously, if you were in here, that would make sense. But I got to go. I yeah, gotta but I am out there. Um, yeah, but... You, I can't hear you. you no, can't I know, speak to I know, I know. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Avador wishes to knock on his door. Well, you wouldn't know like when the right time was. I would end up, but I would be considered like, uh, this has taken a long time, Ooh. just in case. I've been I'm a little worried. Our little friend's not back, and I just want to knock on the door. S- That's up to you. I- Sarah would advise against that as I, I just wanna ask what time breakfast is so we can <laughs> like be ready. You want to wake our Sorry captain wake from his you. slumber to ask him when See, breakfast I is? I don't know that he's asleep. I, I can say that is like, oh, I saw a little gleaming light under your uh, your door. Mm. And uh, and I decided to question. Uh, our Lord is uh, curious at what time breakfast is. Mm. Continental? <laughs> <laughs> If they have free breakfast, I'm breakfast in. pastries only. All right, I will allow it. You make your way up the uh, ship's ladder and onto the deck. Um, however, you are immediately stopped by one of the crew members who says, "Oi, you there? Need to be in your quarters." 
I completely understand, and I will. I do have a question for our captain, as it is important for the Lord to have an answer. Uh, the f- you hear the first mate then say, "Get back to work. I'll handle it." You hear him stepping down from the helm from the ship's ladder, uh, leading up to the uh, uh, from the stern deck, and he says, "It's dangerous for you to be out here at night." I manage on my own quite well. Besides, I have a deal with the captain, as we are very well uh, skilled in protecting oneself. I am also available to protect you. (sighs) Be that as it may, captain's sleeping at this time. What is it you need? Why is there a light under his door? Did he just put the candle out or no? No, he's going to be at his bedside at this point. But would there be a light under his door still? Mm. Well, be seen as I have a 60, I can see through dark vision or whatever. I can see my, roll my a, vision could roll be better. A per, roll a perception. This sounds like a deception. Whatever. What is the perception? Or is it 20? an inception? <laughs> Brum. <laughs> 20. Um, okay. Uh, you. You. Hmm. You <laughs> dare to question my capabilities. Uh, he, uh, well, be that as it may, asleep or awake, he's retired to his quarters and isn't to be disturbed. I am his first mate and I am capable of handling. What do you need? At this point, you can see that he's not getting like angry at you, but he's definitely like giving you the body language and assistance of you ain't going near that door. Right. Well, how would you like to explain to the captain that our Lord is very much hungry and I have already told him that we will eat in the morning. Now, you could be in charge of an angry young Lord who will have your head if you give us the wrong time or you can ask the captain himself. The choice is yours. Roll me a persuasion. 16. My life depends on this. <laughs> <laughs> you see him looking at you a bit more sternly, but he's... <sighs> Wait here. He goes over to the captain's uh, uh, captain's door and gives it a not banging knock, but definitely a uh, forceful a uh, couple of not wraps at the door. I, I'm on like a, a I don't know, a, a table or something looking towards this these keys, mm-hmm. like contemplating if I, because I don't know any of this is going on, contemplating whether I should grab them or not. And I just hear the knock and I just turn my little rat head back like, <laughs> what? This is perfect. Yep. You hear, you literally hear the raps at the door uh, at, as you're at near the foot of the bed. <laughs> well, I'm going to go into hiding again and just kind of see how this plays out. But making my way towards the door in case it does open again. Okay. Uh, stealth. Oh, no. My one for the night. Oh, my. Uh Uh-oh. That seems like a bad time for this to happen. Just saying. This was a very bad time for this to happen. I've been rolling 20s and stuff on my stealths all up until right now. Uh, You uh, hear the captain go, Oh, for God's sakes. Ugh. What is it, Alex? And oh, damn rats. Oh, boy. OK, I'm going to run. Yeah, uh, but if if I'm going to run towards the door as best I can and into hiding so that maybe if uh, he does the door, you are going to have to make a uh, stealth check as you are trying to break his line of sight. 12. I'm just... Why? Why now, bad stealth rolls? (laughs) Uh, You dart uh, back into the main room where the two desks are, and you just book it under the the, uh, the desk that he was working at. You get in, get under there and remain completely motionless. You hear the quick footsteps um, and the jangling of keys. Uh, You hear something get set onto the desk, and then you see a hand... Just reaching under the desk, just patting the ground, like oh, you. I, I'm just like up against the corner, like holding myself as close to it as possible. You disgusting vermin, fetid. I'll cook you and feed you to the crew. 
Um, go ahead and roll me one more stealth check. Oh, please. Oh, good. 25. Okay. Uh, he, you managed to crawl back into one of the holes. So you're oh, in the bottom yeah, yeah. drawer. As you slowly see him looking down underneath with his candle. Oh, man. Now, uh, because he had screamed rats, were we, be, were we able to hear him from the outside? You just hear some sort of commotion happening in there, and you hear the first mate. It, uh, it, it, is everything all right, sir? He sounds quite awake. <sighs> and he turns and like shoots you a sharp look like, <laughs> get off me! Jack, you hear uh, him get up, and he walks towards, and you hear him start un- starting to unlock the locks with his keys. Let me work my way on outside the drawer back down to where I can see. I'm watching the door and looking for any opening. Go ahead and uh, roll me a stealth check. Uh, 24. Uh, You very deftly, quietly move your way um, out of the desk and uh, with like squeezed up against the wall, completely encased in shadows moving across. The captain very angrily unlocks all the locks, flings the door open, and steps forward, uh, getting almost nose to nose with his first mate. Is there a reason you come rapping at my door at these hours? I beg of your pardon, <clears throat> Captain, but our <clears throat> our little lord wishes to know what time he can break his fast in the morning. <laughs> <sighs> To which she says, really? Well, why don't you tell the little lord that we'll be serving grilled rat in the morning and he can (laughs) wait as early as I wish or as late as I wish. And speaking of the rats, I believe I charged you with ridding this ship of those vermin. Yes, Captain, you did. And I was working very diligently on it. And I thought we got them all. My apologies, if you had seen one, seen one, there is one as large as your head in my room. What are you doing? Oh, I'm booking it. I'm <laughs> if I'm out that Stealth. door. Okay. Can I? I see him because of my vision. Roll 19. a. Well, roll a perception. Nineteen. Twenty. You see a little rat with a little tiny key on its back. <laughs> bolting from the captain's uh, <laughs> quarters. But you don't see, um, but you can tell that they don't see. They're too engaged with each other. Can I see her? Yep. Okay, yeah, I'm just running right to her and she can maybe pick me up. Yeah, and yeah, get me. it. Uh, you, I'm, I'm you, going to open you, my cloak. Well, yeah, you and I'm gonna have crawl it. up her leg yeah. Yeah. to like nestle and up. Then, uh, yeah, under um, my pit yeah. kind of thing. I was like, thank you, Captain. I appreciate it. I hope you catch this vermin of yours. I will retire now. And he, well, he points to you directly. And it's like, and you stay below deck at night. It is dangerous for anyone but the crew to be up here at the night time. I turn and gaze at him and says, I understand. I will be very cautious next time. Indeed. He retires and he slams the door closed and you hear furious locking. Um, well, that the, was nerve wracking. And the first mate walks away just cursing under his breath like, Captain, a red skin horned bitch. Stupid. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you retire he's back down. <laughs> he's racist. <laughs> uh, yeah, you uh, make it back down into the general quarters, and uh, you guys see uh, Avador slightly open her cloak, and a rat with a key on its back jumps out. Uh, uh, let me like, <laughs> get that key off my back and then transform back into uh, humanoid rat form. Yeah, your hybrid form. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Then, uh, Jack, that looks like that was pretty easy. You came away with a, a key. That's great. Did you have a good time? I was, I was wondering what took you so long. What What did you find? I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, th- this was this was what was in the the uh, Pondalor. What Pondalus? Pondalus. What was he though? A lord. Yeah, uh, he was a lord. This was what the Pondalus Lord had provided to the captain that was supposedly very valuable. I don't know what the key is to, but here it is. And while well, I'm trying to put clothes back on because mine have fallen off. And so 
Yeah, you're a very naked wear rat right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> can I can, can I roll to see if I know its history and its uh um if I recognize what that key is? Uh yes, please roll me your history. 19 plus 4 23. Wow. So you uh start observing the key and it's very intricately uh, intricately crafted. It's um uh actually made of electrum a very precious metal and the symbols and bejeweling and artistry on the coin looks very, very familiar. Wait on the coin. I thought it was a key on the key. And you said it is a bejeweled. What color is it? Uh, It's a, it uh, it's electrum. So it almost looks like a silvery gold. Shiny. What's its weight? Uh, pretty hefty for what it is. So it's a heavy metal, you might say. <laughs> a one-way ticket to midnight. <laughs> so since it was on his back, it was big enough to be on his back. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty. Uh, it's a pretty it's big. Good. It's pretty hefty coin. I'd say probably key eight. God damn it. <laughs> uh, key. It's a very hefty key. The reason I keep saying coin is because the reason it looks familiar is the artistry on it looks very akin to the part coin. Mm. Oh. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Hey, I wonder if that key would unlock whatever the hell is uh, being kept below deck. Should we try and find out? How late are we now in the evening? Uh, this It's pretty late right now, so y'all would need to get some rest if you're going to be waking up um, feeling rested. This Otherwise, is still night one, right? This yeah. is still night one. Okay. Yeah, so night one, but night two of your transformation, meaning you have one more night left to be a wear rat. Oh, true. Okay. Well, I'm kind of tired. I had <laughs> an adventure. Um, <laughs> your <can> teeth <laughs> look raggedy, too. What happened? <laughs> In there. You've got yeah, you've got some like chips of wood in your teeth. What have you been doing? <laughs> no, uh, uh, can I just can we just go to sleep and call it a night? Yes, I I do believe that uh, we've already had a quite an adventure this evening. We should rest up until then. I will hide this key in my pouch. All right, all right. I suppose you weirdos <laughs> and you're sleeping. Jeez, why can't you be like elves? <laughs> I am keeping this key close by. No one, no one should uh, disturb me. Sarah will uh, say that I think that tonight we should uh, <clears throat> hold off on any new uh, adventures and simply get some rest. Fair enough, fair enough. Hey everyone, it's your Dungeon Master Devin here, thanking you for listening to this episode of Party in Peril. You can encounter us on Twitter or Instagram at Party in Peril. And if you liked this episode, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, rating, uh, hacking or slashing, and whatever else you can do out there on social media or wherever you listen to podcasts. But thanks again for listening. And remember, roll high, crit hard. See you next time. Presented by NerdSloth. A place for lazy nerds. If you like what you heard, consider donating at patreon.com slash nerdslot so we can continue bringing you quality shows. Be sure to also leave us a review and share your favorite episodes and clips on social media. If you're looking for more content, catch us on YouTube and Twitch or visit us at nerdsloth.com.